All right, well, I have some interesting news to report today for the guys that actually have a Romero Mueller type of pulse motor running. And the guys that are just theorizing, well, that's great, but this is really for the guys that have something in front of them actually running to try out. And this is my testing unit. And Whoopi posted a diagram this morning over, over Unity.com. It was in regards to Romero's first video, and he has studied this over and over and over again, and he believes the way this is wired is basically the generator coils are paralleled with the two driving coils. And when Romero turned on this load on the generator coils, the amp meter did not go up. And this was a real question mark on a lot of guys' minds, is why when you added a load on the generator, did the RPM of the motor not go down and the amp meter did not go up? And Whoopi believes that this is parallel system. And he had this dialed in in such a way that this phenomena took place. Now, I replicated it on my little testing unit this morning. And this is probably not the way it worked. But this is the first time I pulled a load on a generator and not seen an amp draw come up on the drive motor and not seen the RPM go down. And that's where the lens law thing is coming in, why so many people are trying to figure out how did Romero bypass lens law. Well, this may be a clue. This is probably not how it happened, but this may be a clue. I have a pair of generator coils here hooked up to a jewel thief. And the dual thief is connected right back into the power rails, paralleling the drive. Now this is being driven on a couple of dual thief circuits here, and then it's powering a dual thief. This is my amp draw right there, and this is going to be the amp draw when I connect the load. You're going to see this go up to about two milliamps, and this is not going to change, nor is the RPM on this motor. And like I say, this is for the guys that have something in front of them actually running. And maybe you can duplicate this too. Okay, here I'm going to go. I'm going to connect this right here like the switch that Romero did. And watch these numbers. And there's the load. I'll disconnect it. There's the load. This is the load amp draw. Watch, watch, watch this. This is the the amp draw on the motor part of the, the Mueller. Pan out here again. You can see the whole thing. You might want to freeze frame this and look at this very, very closely. But now when I saw this happening, this at least explains that video. And I don't know. I don't know if this is a good, bad, whatever. But I don't know if you can hear this. I'm going to disconnect and connect the load again. Listen to the RPM. That's load on, load off. Load on, load off. It doesn't change at all. So anyway, I think, Whoopi, you have stumbled onto something that needs close examination. If this is indeed how he had this wired, this is a clue, at least a clue on how, how all of this took place. Anyway, for all the guys working on this, man, I tell you, I feel for you. I know how many hours this takes to put one of these things together. Good luck with it. Thanks.